Um, I don't know if any of you guys have heard about the Logan Paul situation. Now, quickly, I'm not doing this for views. I don't even get that much views anyway, but I'm not doing this for views. I simply just want to get my opinion across about the situation. Yo, what's going on guys? Hope you are having a good day. So it is a new year, 2018, and this year I want to get built. I want to get me some abs, get fit, get me some more muscles. <laughs> Sounds like I'm just like a weird ass, but um, so comment down below what your goals are for 2018. So mine are get fit so I can play football this year. Because last year when I played football, I wasn't too fit. I was I was quite fast, but I just got really tired really easily. So this year, I want to start working out and um, working out for football, training myself up and stuff, even before football training even starts. So this year, I'm going to be doing some workouts, getting built, hopefully, and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to show you what I do. This is, I started this yesterday. So I'm going to show you guys what I do for my workout. So let's get going. So first things first, I need to get into some shorts because I'll get way too hot if I work out in pants. I'm going to get me some shorts, some shoes on, and the first thing I do is get outside and do some football. So I have the 2018 World Cup football here. It's actually a really good ball. So I go outside, I practice with that, do some kicking, do some running, and also I always listen to music because that gets me motivated. So I'm going to be doing uh, probably like 10 minutes. So go around, go out there, play some football, train myself up, do some sprints and stuff. Then I'll do some weights, sit-ups and push-ups and things like that. Back, back, back from the dead. Yeah. 
Now, if you're watching my workout and you think that, oh my god, you can only do like two pull ups, you can only do like four push ups, like it's only because my body's actually really re weak right now because of the four month period, I couldn't do anything because of my hip. There's not an excuse. Now, I will say before that, I wasn't really good at the middle rolls because I never practiced them. But this is why I'm working out, trying to work out every day so that I can get better and better at them and be able to do more. Oh, I'm really sweaty. So now I'm going to go have a cold shower. So, just got out of the sh shower, it was pretty cold, because um, apparently having a cold shower burns a bit of calories. Um, oh, well, oh, but I don't do it for that, I just do it because it cools me down. So, before I carry on with the vlog, there's something quick I want to talk about, and it's part of being a Ruxus. So, what I've been doing, as you, I just showed you guys, is by working out and stuff and training myself. That's because I want to get a better body. And I'm not ashamed of my body now, but I just want to get get some abs, get a bit musclier, and then get fit so I can actually be better at football and stuff. So I want this, and I am working for it. So what I'm trying to say here is if you guys want something, whatever it is, just go out and work for it, no matter what anyone else says. For example, I want to vlog, and I want to get better and better at vlogging and stuff like that. And to do this, I need to be able to do it in front of people. For example, my family, and I never used to be able to do it. Like, I remember on my one of my old channels, I used to film myself outside, and my family would look at me and laugh, and I would just get put off. But if I truly want to vlog, I need to just do it in front of anyone and not worry about what they think, which is what I'm doing, and that's how I'm trying to inspire you people to do by being a Ruxus. So if you guys want something, go for it and work for it. Just like me, when I'm older, I want to be some sort of famous and inspire people. Um... And hopefully get to 10 million subscribers one day. That is my ultimate goal, to get to 10 million. Um, my goal at the moment is get to at least 100 while I'm in Dannyburg. When I'm in Wellington, I want to get to at least 1,000. I don't think that's impossible. But wherever I end up when I'm older, like when I'm in my 20s or 30s or maybe 40s, I don't know. I want to get to 10 mil and inspire people and stuff like that. So 
That's what I'm trying to inspire you guys to do. If you want something, work hard for it and go for it. Chase your dreams and don't let anyone tell you you can't do it. It's no matter what you do, people are going to judge you. And that's what people have to get in the head. No matter what you do, there's going to be people out there that judge you. And my dad always told me is that what people think of me is none of my business. And if people are actually telling you what they think of you to your face, just, I don't know, do whatever you got to do then, but afterwards just don't worry about it like there's a lot of people that used to hate on me when i was doing youtube like a few years ago might have been, there was a bit last year and but like when i was year nine which is like two years ago when i was doing a channel it was called road dog you can even look it up it's still on youtube i used to get a lot of hate like there wasn't much hate comments but there was always dislikes and stuff but now that doesn't get to me. I don't care if I get dislikes or if I get comments and shit like that, which I haven't yet. Um, but I don't care, and that's what I'm trying to get you guys to do. Just don't worry about what anyone thinks of you. Sorry if I'm boring you out, but I just want to. I just want to get my point across that I'm working to get a fit. Oh my god, a, a fit body, get abs, and get uh, muscly and stuff like that. So if you guys want something, chase it. Go for it and work hard and be a Ruxus, okay? Do what you want to do and don't let anything stop you. Yup. <laughs> now I'm going to quickly go see what my dad is up to. Hi, Dad. Now, are you going to close the back door or, or hook it back? What do you want it to be? I don't know. It's not cold. No. Leave it open for now. Alright. Hello, girls. Hello, oh, sleep. <laughs> oh, I already low key. <coughs> Bloody hell. Oh, you Hi, filming it? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Charlie. I already did my room, it's probably not the best, but. You, BB. Oh, one's coming up. Hi, Taya. The rat. She doing good? Your teeth look so funny. <laughs> oh, I feel so much better. Look at a satisfying pillow. I bought this for Lillian for Christmas. Oh, it was mean as. Feels nice. Do you guys have one of these? Have any of you guys have one of these or have uh, played with one before? Comment down below. We also have fish. I never actually showed these before. We got two little fish. We have to. We used to have heaps, but since we got the rats, mum needed to downsize to only two. <laughs> so I am back sitting here now. There's one more thing I want to talk about, which is about today's vlog. Um, oh, I don't know if any of you guys have heard about the Logan Paul situation. Now. Quickly, I'm not doing this for views. I don't even get that much views anyway, but I'm not doing this for views. I simply just want to get my opinion across about the situation. So if you guys don't know, um, almost a week ago, Logan Paul went to a suicide forest, which is obviously by the name where people go there to commit suicide. Now, Logan Paul went there to film a vlog. Now, he was planning on camping there and ended up finding a dead body. And then he was filming the dead body and only blew the face out. And then he was kind of making jokes and he was laughing and stuff like that. And he just wasn't taking it seriously. Now, I'm a fan of Logan Paul, as you guys can tell if you watch my other videos that I have his merch. Um, yes, I do not agree with what he did. I absolutely understand that what he did was completely wrong. And this has ended up all over the news. There's a heaps of videos about it. And there's a lot of people that are hating on Logan. Now, I'm not hating on him. I completely agree that what he did was really, really wrong. Um, but he has apologized. I don't, I don't particularly agree how he apologized. I think it was on Twitter. But the one he wrote anyway, that wasn't a good apology. But the one he videoed, I thought was all good. But a lot of people were saying it was fake and he's just acting. And then I watched a video last night. And this guy was studying his facials and saying that he doesn't even mean it and he's acting. Then I was watching a video, I think it was by Comedy Shorts Gamer. And he was um, a fan from Logan Paul. 
told him. Oh no, I wasn't a fan. Sorry. Anyway, someone told Comedy Shorts Gamer that there was a line in Hancock. There's a movie called Hancock. If you don't, if you guys don't know that, and um, it was he said that Logan Paul had said the lines at the end of his apology video that Hancock said when he was apologising to the city. Um, and it was like, I will be better, I promise to be better, and I will be better, and apparently Hancock said something like that as well. So, I know, a lot of people are saying that it's scripted and it's fake, and it probably was scripted. I mean, I used to be, I used to do that with my older videos, so I don't stuff up my words and stuff like that, and I don't always pause trying to think of what to say. But, even if it was fake, I mean, he has done all he can, he did delete the video, even though he left it up there for a few hours. And it got to, I think it was 6.2 million views. Now, when I watched that video, I didn't actually think much of it at the time. I was like, oh, yeah. And when he started laughing, and in that, if you guys did see the video, that lady kind of tapped him and was trying to tell him, you know, you shouldn't laugh about it. And I was, I don't even know. I didn't, I didn't really think it through. And to be honest, my sister got up a book brought up a good point as well she's like if he didn't even show the body people would have said it was fake or something something like that um he should have blurred more than just the face and even going up to it and showing the hands and saying that he did this this morning and stuff like that and showing that his bag was there and there's still stuff in his pocket was absolutely wrong but what is annoying me is that how many people are making videos on on how bad he is now that i heard that there's this um, brand called Maverick Apparel who are trying to sue him for his brand but they're only doing it now because he's in the shit and it's just like why so that's my opinion I agree what he did that was completely wrong he should never have done that but I mean look at the amount of stuff that Jake Paul has done I don't hate Jake Paul I just hate some of the things that he's done and look how he gets forgiven just like that and people are saying that Jake and Logan they they're just wankers and they're scumbags and all that sort of stuff and that I can understand where people are coming from is like how they don't care about much things they go out in the public and they just film themselves being an idiot I understand that but I'm just sick of all the hate and it's just like it's just annoying me like I'm just scrolling through my feed and I always see the situation about Logan Paul and it's like most people are doing it for views and you can easily tell. There's one guy called Kavos, whatever they say his name, and he did one video, which is all right, and it got up to 15 million views. So I, I suppose that all of Logan's subscribers have seen that video. But then he made two more, and it just felt like he was just doing it for views. And I understood his point of how it just seems like Logan's an asshole and he's an idiot and all that sort of stuff. But I just getting annoyed with all the hate Logan's getting, and I heard that people have been standing outside his house. And stuff like that. And that is just, just as bad as what Logan Paul did. Like, probably not as bad, but still. Like, standing outside someone's house and... I don't know. I heard that they were, like, verbally abusing him or something. I don't know the full story. But all I heard was people uh, standing outside his house. So, obviously, Logan Paul has taken a break from vlogging. And it sucks because I watch him every day. And he's just uh, he's just enjoyable. He's entertaining. Um, so, I just want to get my point across... I'm not doing this for views, I simply wanted to say that I do agree that what he did was wrong, but I'm still a fan of him, I do not hate him, I do not dislike him in any way, I'm just sick of all the hate he's getting, and I understand why people are all triggered and stuff like that, but it's been over a week now and people are still going at it, and it's just annoying me, and I'm not defending Logan Paul, as he said in his apology video to his fans, do not defend him, which I'm trying my best not to, but I'm just saying... I am getting really, really sick of all the hate he's getting. So, sorry if I bored you out, but I just want to get my opinion across. And if anyone new is watching this, you call me what you want, whatever. Like I said, I agree what he did was wrong. I totally understand what he did was wrong and how people took it the wrong way. And that he was just trying to help people with suicide thoughts and that. But some people took it the wrong way, which I completely understand. So, don't come at me. Like, you're a dumbass, you shouldn't be a fan of Logan Paul, what he did was completely wrong, you should not, blah blah blah. I know what he did was wrong, but this is the first biggest mistake Logan has actually made, and he's just getting all this hate, whereas Jake Paul's made heaps of mistakes, but he's still getting forgiven just like that. So, that's all I'm going to say. I agree what he did was wrong, but I'm still a fan. Um, 
everyone that's hating on him should just leave him alone now. And uh, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. A bit of a change of scenery because you're probably sick of seeing my room all the time. So out my lounge. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe, like, and stay tuned for my next vlog. Um, remember to be a Ruxus, do what you want to do, and don't let anything stop you. Peace out. We won't need imaginary. Where are you?